Welcome everyone to Breaking News, the segment we usually only run on the More Life channel. Two major hashtag peak bugs recurring theme there in Apple's land um, and uh, yeah, recurring theme and, and also previous Intel, Max and Mac OS. Uh, the first thing, latest development just in the last week, Hector Martin of all people noticed his probably not even as much used M1 from reversing uh, Linux support there has unusual high wear. He previously posted there, um, hey, can you run brew install smart mount tools that you would also run on Linux PSD, the smart monitoring tools. And uh, so yeah, there's an update. So uh, M1 SSD wear issue data posted there from people on Twitter. Write endurance rating are not proportional to drive size. And um, they found that their current known worst case would be that the 256 gigabyte model to 200% wear leveling to in, in just like two years. Recurring theme here, I said probably a hundred times in various videos, soldered onto the main printed circuit board SSD. Not cool, not user swappable, not repairable. Louis Rossmann's and I totally agree. But for me, it's not even the hot airing, which we uh, could also do, just have it there. But it's also user upgrading, right? In a year, you notice you know, all you, you know, you do video editing, you need more storage. Then either you buy a new Mac or you attach external storage. Anyway, so there is probably some bug, maybe swapping, maybe some other constantly writing updates. We also had um, here on the DTK problems that the update didn't load. Who knows what is going on there. I was also once at a customer like a year ago, approximately, here in Germany, um, some doctors praxis and uh, they had to obviously there at the time over a year ago Intel Max, but also only with like some four gig or whatever the base model configuration was, four gig memory, and the thing was swapping to death, right? Barely usable. And they are like, uh, why is this Mac not usable? It's like click, 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 activity monitors. Like, yeah, but this thing is like swapping like 100%. Um, anyway, so yeah, not the most amazing thing. Whatever is there is a bug we will probably find. Could also be firmware, right? Because a a Apple is doing everything themselves now from SSD to next uh, 5 and 6G modem firmware or whatnot. So yeah, could also be just wrong values. Could be everything like, like just playing random. Where leveling wouldn't surprise me at all. In uh, similar news, also not this, in similar news, Apple Mac Mini dual display support issue comes to light. Also, it's not really dual display, it's like any display issue potentially. And it's like, yeah, hashtag peak bugs, you can't make this stuff up, so many bugs. Um, it's ridiculous. This, this comes probably from we need to do everything ourselves in house there at Apple. Um, and then, yeah, yeah so potentially writing your own HDMI, USB C, uh, MUX, and display port and HDMI very log code. And at the end, it's like, yeah, YOLO, whatever, random stuff. And it's not one issue, it's multiple issues. So you can have green tint. Actually, um, I saw it at the DTK issue. So this is from my DTK. I mentioned this a couple of times. This Apple developed transition kit thing um, at home. So here in the office, it's like near yeah, the ports, it's near yeah, whatever. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you need dongles, uh, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it displays the light native resolution 1920 by 1200 from the neck or Dell display here. Sometimes it only does full HD, but yes, yeah, I thought it's a DTK thing because it's running the A12 set or so SOC. And this is at home, uh, ironically, with my Apple Cinema display that I have for 15 years or so. A 20 inch Apple Cinema display at home, Apple Silicon DTK, some really strange ghosting going on. It somehow I have no idea how this can occur digitally. My best bet is it looks like six instead of eight bit per channel and the other two bits are like accumulating, but I've never seen something as strange like that. Um, it's it's totally crazy that it, it digitally burns in really strangely and otherwise I had zero issues with this Apple Cinema Display. So really strange stuff going on here. Uh, but yeah, this is the strangest stuff only the geniuses at Apple Infinite Loop 1 can 
invent. But what other people found on the end user retail units is everything from uh, green tint, pink squares, like and more. And that apparently looks here like, um, what do they have here? Yeah, some, um, I have also no idea what they very long synthesized into the ASIC sock there to produce that. Maybe a timing glitch, um, potentially looks like a timing glitch. Apple says, yeah, only a limited, very small number of users is affected as per usual. And of course they fix this, of course they fix this, <laughs> in quotes, maybe. With the next software update, who knows? Maybe they can tweak their some bandwidth calculation if this is some memory thing. Who knows what it is? Um, other things are tint, and where do we have this? Um, also, yeah, Apple has um, workarounds. Apple has, I think they, they came from Apple. I think somewhere I read at least discussion Apple. I think uh, there was an official support document like turn it off and on again and this and that. Apple has acknowledged one of the problems given above the unsupported screen resolution issue and like 5,000. Uh, it's likely released an update so this is apparent in a new support document connect uh, ultra wide super ultra wide monitors and update two as per notes Apple has now fixed one of the many display issues plugging the Mac mini M1. Um, started uh, something tech something whatever anyway so yeah in my opinion and so i also wanted to say not only this this comes from apple needs to do everything in-house and then they have bugs that nobody else has because every, everyone else has their stuff tested for a decade or two but the second thing is also no testing right they rush everything out i mentioned my frustration with this failing dtk stuff basically all mac developers i know are highly disappointed by the handling and the hardware and the handling or everything surrounding the Apple developer transition program thing. And um, given that I didn't expect like in, in three and a half to four months something to between developer transition kit and final hardware is like, yeah, maybe they should actually um, cooked their hardware and software a month or two longer and not release in October for Tim Apple's bean counting over Christmas for profit maximization, but at January or something when everything is ironed out, like not revision A of the Apple M1 sock, but revision B or something like, you know, with the biggest showstopper bugs fixed, how other reputable companies would normally do. So I think these are the two main issues. And um, that's all I wanted to summarize for you today. As usual, leave in the comments below what you think. I didn't yet order that given the surroundings I mentioned this in the other video the other day. I don't have even clear return instructions. Um, couldn't order M1 Mac because Apple's website doesn't like our company credit card email. Also, we could order with this company credit card the DDK, but not an M1 Mac. Um, I'm pride of from the DDK. I, I was always wondering, should I uh, disassemble, dis, uh, disassemble this? Leave in the comments below. It's of course violating the NDA with them, but who cares? Um, but um, maybe should someone else disassemble this so that I don't know, I'm not in violation with NDA. But so I peeled this rubber off. Uh, there was not directly a micro switch or something. It still works. I didn't yet further unscrew it. I guess it will be looking exactly like the M1 production Mac. Um, probably 100% identical um, is my expectations. Um, I wonder that there are, I googled a couple of times, uh, leave in the comments below if you know anyone who disassembled this and posted photos or videos. I didn't find any the other week I checked. Um, but yeah, I mean, not, not that it's the super most interesting, but just out of sheer curiosity given the surroundings of Apple secrecy. Also, we are not allowed to make sketches and stuff. But yeah, you're not allowed to make sketches and stuff of a device that otherwise is identical to Mac Mini. Thank you very much. Um, right, so what's called pick box? Find the hashtag when searching, but not the meaning. Uh, I use this uh, mostly for many years already. It's uh, I use it like peak oil, you know, uh, the um, general estimate that there's only so much oil in the soil and um, the oil peak production, not only with our climate emergency but also um, it becomes more, more difficult uh, to get the um, last drops of oil out of the ground. 
plus um, the uh, increasing prices of that methods, means of uh, extracting it, fracking and stuff, all the total environmental disasters, plus the total cheapness of wind and solar energy, uh, the cheapest energy we could ever and currently can produce. And um, that is why uh, from, from many decades already peak oil and similar to, I use this because with my use of macOS on my main machine uh, developing Mac software for 15 years as a side business between our T2 Linux distribution um, that for every year accumulate more bugs. Also my Intel Retina MacBook Pro I have wake on wake from sleep issue when I have a 4K display plugged in a 4K MST display since six years Apple never fixed that. Um, multiple other issues most trivial bug in the finder it's like you can if you use uh, that I use this to find the stuff or promote the use of there are really many bugs um, so that uh, it's like yeah there are really many bugs if you ever want that there should actually be way more why is there only so oh, this is top all people videos no. some are not all Ah, uh, you come more. I used this for many, many years already, probably long before I did YouTube. Um, maybe leave in the comments below how much you like that term. Does it nail it? Um, the like bugs, bugs and more bugs. And eventually um, there should be peak bugs, right? Because it's, is it still possible to have more bugs than that? Basically everything I touch, um, even the partitioner, the partitioning, the disk utility thing is for partitioning. Um, bugs, bugs and more bugs. Even the last time I used it, um, I mean besides it's, it's total degenerated garbage in the meantime that can not even do very much but even then the most simple thing the other year um, repartitioned a new NVMe SSD in my Retina MacBook Pro and created a uh, three partitions like one for macOS 10.9 for all testing latest and greatest 10.11 something and a third partition for obviously Linux and other testing and because macOS disk utility obviously can't create Linux system, I used ext fat um, just as a placeholder as a third partition and I named it um, I know I think I left the default I, I think I left the default untitled and even the outcome of that was that the the label name of that partition was just you not untitled just you I that can't make this I mean yeah uh, and yeah crashing crashed again Xcode crashes is like yeah whatever I touch um, on um, macOS in the meantime um, on my Retina MacBook Pro um, even the finder icons if I drag stuff uh, you drag stuff it's move in the finder if you hold option it becomes copy or actually with remote shares it's the other way around for some uh, reason I think so if you drag something from your local volumes to remote server share I think it always wants to copy by default and uh, this option it becomes a move or something for you Steve Jobs preference or something and my point is the icons don't reflect the action anymore so at least on my Retina MacBook Pro not sure if that's for everyone maybe people don't use it professionally or don't move files on their systems or remote shares but for me since a year or so the icon is always reversed so if I move something there is a plus icon then it's move and not a plus icon and it's copy it's like you can't make this stuff up super confusing and plus a couple of other stuff um, it's uh, yeah also yeah sometimes I use it usually I use it for Mac OS Apple bugs but sometimes I also use it for Microsoft bugs I, it took me literally like two hours or something in, in freaking Microsoft Office last year to format a freaking formula for an ISO standard ISO PDF R standard it's like yeah need to work with ISO Word documents and waste over two hours uh, with a bloody Microsoft form formula editor um, but yeah peak bugs peak bugs more peak bugs also um, all right what was here find stupid CPU time wasting uh, also yeah okay sometimes um, the all right this is was strangely glitching um, it's like here it's like slow and then yeah it's even even the fine animation are glitching live from my retina macbook pro um yeah more peak bugs the most peak bugs and and really many are yeah also uh, peak bugs in video yeah, basically basically everything just yeah 
it, it's mini. It's 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 set. It's yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, that's it for this update. Leave me in the comments below if anything of this affects you. But long story short, the display issue might be fixed in software, maybe potentially. But as it affects a very small limited number of people, how should we ever know? And um, the SSD wear leveling issue is exactly what I always say here with soldered to the PCB. We should have never accepted this. This is also, if you don't vote with your wallet and let this big mega corporations do everything, force everything on you, then each year it becomes worse and worse. We've seen this with Microsoft, with Oracle, with Google, with Apple. Um, they're not our friends, they are just profit maximizing business and uh, care not even two cents of whatever about the users' issues and usability and do whatever is on their agenda. Um, is at least my impression I got from Microsoft, Apple, Google, um, Oracle and many others over the years. So take care when you choose a Mac or PC. Last but not least a tip I just noticed yesterday on the Lenovo Germany website that now you can order some if not all Lenovo things without a Microsoft Windows pre-installed. I think they discount 60 euro in Germany for that. So just in case you're looking for Linux capable PC thing and this Lenovo stuff is out $60 saving 100 euro instant web sales because they want a sale discount and 60, did I say 100? I hope I said 100 euro and 60 euro discount for not install and not ordering Microsoft Office. Um, if you bring your own Linux like T2 or other amazing Linux distributions. Anyway, that's it for today. Looking for your comments and I hope you learned something.